the previous videos, three equations have been derived, which are VRD maximum 22 degree, VRD maximum 45 degree, and also the equations to determine the angle of the strut. Also, in the aspects of the shear reinforcement, this equation is derived and this equation is given by Eurocode. Discussions were also made for the additional longitudinal force caused by the shear load and the checking criteria for that. All these are put together in this slide to demonstrate their relationships. The VRD max 22 degree and VRD max 45 degree will set the boundary conditions for the data angle. It was identified by Eurocode that the angle will range between 22 degree to 45 degree. In the case that the angle is less than 22 degree, we will use it as a 22 degree. In case that it is found to be greater than 45 degrees, the sections needs to be redesigned and the likelihood of failure of the member is high. With that, these two equations come to the function. First, we need to check the shear load against the VRD maximum 22. If the shear load is found to be less than the VRD maximum 22, we know that the angle theta here will be less than 22 degree and we will use the 22 degree as the following calculations. If we find the VED greater than VRD maximum 22, we need to check against VRD maximum 45 degree. If VED is less than VRD 45 degree, we will need to use these equations for us to determine the angle. If the load is greater than VRC 45 degree, the sections will be redesigned and we need to repeat the calculation step here with a new design section. Once the angle has been defined, we will use the angle defined for us to determine the amount of shelling required in the member. The amount of shelling required in the member is to be checked against the minimum shelling. This is the equations that are given by Eurocode. Once we have decided the amount of shear reinforcement required in the member, we need to determine the additional force acting due to the shear load. This is calculated based on the equations. And also we need to check for the whether additional amount of reinforcement bar is to be provided to resist the additional longitudinal force caused by the shear load. These are some other requirements to ensure the serviceability of the shear links, which will be discussed in the following chapters. With that, an overview of all the equations related to the shear reinforcement have been outlined here.